Hi, my name is Quincy Leary. And my name is Devin Estrada, and welcome to Wayland News Magazine. Jumping right into our first story, Jacoby is here to give us the rundown on Spring Week 2023. Thank you, Devin. Spring has sprung in the past few weeks at WHS, with the Student Council running many events throughout these weeks. The week before break specifically, from the 10th of April to the 14th of April, saw an entire week of events, with Monday holding a spike ball tournament, Tuesday holding a spring orchestra concert, Wednesday holding a student faculty volleyball game, and a week-long scavenger hunt from Friday the 7th through Friday the 14th. These events took place all around school, and many have theorized that these occurred due to the success of wintering as well as the annual importance of spring week. They were also a way of unifying many separate and overall unrelated events together into the cohesiveness of spring week. Overall, it was very fun. Back to you, Quincy. Those all sound like quite interesting events. On to our next story. Eileen in the field reporting on students' thoughts on the upcoming AP exam. High school, and as the weather continues to warm, spring isn't the only thing knocking at many students' front doors. Every spring, Wayland, along with the majority of the nation's high school, administers high-level exams known as APs, which stands for Advanced Placement. Advanced Placement students who are enrolled in an AP class pay to take the test. AP tests are a paid test that are scored on a basis of 1 through 5, 1 being the lowest and 5 being the highest score. Many students who choose to take APs do so in the hopes that if they score high enough, either a 4 or a 5, then they may use the exam and apply it to credits to fill prerequisite classes. This way, students may be able to save money or dedicate their time to other college courses that are of more interest to them. Students will either take an AP test as an obligatory part of their AP course, or they may study the subject by themselves and pay to take one of the AP exams come testing season. Wayland High School offers a variety of different AP courses ranging from Bio, Physics, Chem, Government and Politics, U.S. History, and more. However, only juniors and seniors are eligible to enroll in an AP course as no APs are offered for underclassmen at Wayland High, making it one of the more unique aspects of the school system. Being an AP student, I am not super excited, but I am preparing for them. On to our next story. Our new station's own Quincy is here to tell us all about the recent car show he hosted. Yo le iba a grabar, pero en baja calidad. Y ella me dijo que no, que no está. Es una maldita loca, una ratata. Ella lo que quiere es que la ponga en cuatro pacos. Attention car enthusiasts. Get ready for an exhilarating car show experience happening at Wayland High School on Saturday, May 20th from 4 to 7 p.m. This event is not just about showcasing incredible cars, but also about giving back to our community. We are proud to partner with the amazing folks at Low Class Culture to bring you an incredible car show and fundraiser here at Wayland High School. All the proceeds from this event will be donated to support the MECO and Connect program at Wayland High School. The entry fee for, car for show cars is only $10 and spectators can attend for free, but spots are limited. So make sure to arrive on time to secure your place. Thanks me for hosting such a fun event. We can always appreciate a fast or slow car no matter the type. On to our last story of the day. Kira has attended today's Spring Film Festival. Let's hear about the event. Thanks guys. I'm Kira Hines here at the Wayland High School reporting on the upcoming Wayland Film Festival. The student directors, Olivia Lavin, Ulysses Lopez King, and Brendan Hines have been working on their movies, The School Elective Script to Screen, from September to May. They have been and will continue to produce their short films for the film festival and the awards that are presented then. The film festival will be taking place at the end of this month at the WHS Auditorium, where each film will be shown and the awards will be handed out for certain categories, such as Best Actress, Best Extra, and Best Director. If you can't make the festival, each movie will also be available for viewing on Wakecam's official YouTube page, so you can appreciate students' hard work and dedication to the complicated art form of movie making. Now back to Devin at the studio. Wow, I hope to catch one of those films upon release. 
Thank you for joining us today on Wayland News Magazine, and we hope to catch you on the next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.